Taiwanese-born director Justin Lin is calling the shots. So how's the life of a retired international criminal? I need your help, Dom. Justin, a very warm welcome to Top Billing. Now, you directed Fast and Furious 5 with ghost over 600 million US dollars. So I'm guessing you had no pressure going into <laughs> Fast and Furious 6. Well, I, I think, you know, the business side, it's always good to see it be successful. But I think creatively, it's it's fulfilling to know that we get to end on our own accord. Exactly. And then Fast and Furious 6 has been deemed the all-star get-together. Why did you choose to bring back all the stars from the previous films? Well, I think at the, at the core of why this franchise is successful is, is exploring this idea of family. And I think there's nothing more appropriate than, than to really bring everybody back and, and see how they work together. Vin Diesel and Michelle Rodriguez are the film's heartbeat. You know, you're lucky I missed my shot. I think he hit your mark. Really? What is it with you? Now, Vin, Michelle, lovely to meet you. Both of you have been part of the Fast and the Furious franchise from the inception. Describe the feeling when you got the script for Fast and Furious 6. <laughs> <laughs> what script? <laughs> <No>, <laughs> <laughs> she's a real, you know, she's a real riot. Uh, <laughs> when we did the first movie, the Fast, the original Fast and Furious, it was 1999 when we first shot that, and I remember it because it was such a big deal because I was literally a poor kid from New York a year before that. Uh, anyway, so it was such a big deal that this movie was successful, and I would look at all the reviews because, as you can imagine, I was so excited. And I remember, I don't know if it was New York Times, but it was one of these articles that said, Fast and the Furious is such an amazing movie, that it's groundbreaking, you're not gonna believe it's the best time in the world, and there's only one crime. The crime is, the relationship between Dom and Letty, there isn't enough of it. Talking about Letty, she died. How is it that she's still alive? That's a good question. Uh, yeah. Yeah, what are you doing alive? <laughs> She's back by popular demand. Franchise fans didn't want to accept her death in Fast Five. And in this script, Dom and Brian are pitted against her. Now, Paul, what I love particularly about your character in Fast and Furious is that you're a dad. Mm -hmm. How has that changed Brian O'Connor? Uh, that's a work in progress. And I can relate to it. It's like, you know, when you first find out, it's kind of like, Especially when it wasn't planned, um, you know. Brian's mad about this girl. Uh, you know, I think I think in a way he's kind of looking forward to the opportunity to make, I guess, the family name right. Seeing that his dad wasn't really all that for him, um, and having the support system that he's got with Dom, the big brother slash father that he never really had. Welsh actor Luke Evans takes the role of the mastermind behind the rival drivers, while real-life mixed martial arts fighter Gina Carano adds a knockout fighting edge as an agent on his trail. Being introduced into a family, was it, you know, tricky um, joining Fast and Furious 6? I, know, I think starting a new job has its challenges, but they were really uh, lovely. They did have their group, you know, their solid group that they're loyal to, but um, for coming from outside, they were they were really nice, actually. And one of my favorite scenes in the entire movie, we call it the tank scene, where you, you roughly, I think, bulldoze 250 cars, and that wasn't CGI, that was real, real, real hardcore, you know, stunts. Walk me through that particular day on set. It was an in, uh, insane stunt, to, and especially when you realize, you know, Fast and Furious franchise is famed for doing their stunts, not trying to not fake them. They're most, if you can do it for real, they'll do it for real. But those, uh, those stunt guys that were running out of those cars, I mean, <laughs> brave? I mean, I would not do that. I wouldn't. And this, this tank was a real 60-ton tank. We had two of them. Um, you know, and when they were going, they, they, you, you, if you were in their way, you know, that was the end of you. Undeterred are actor and singer Tyrese Gibson and rapper stroke actor Ludacris, who get very close to the action. You did a lot of stunts in this particular movie. Did you have stunt doubles? Was that all of you, physical, Oh, no, no, brutal, I don't play the stunt octane. double thing. You know, I, I put stuntmen out of business. I, I take this yeah. stuntmen thing very serious. I don't... Not they, me, they, they don't. 
I usually let people do all my stunts. Okay. Except when I have to do sex scenes. That has to be me. Okay. We understand. But all the other stuff, I let the stunt double do that. I would but hope. We, we have more fun offset than we did on screen. Really? Yeah, so, you know, we cracking jokes, man, playing pranks on people. But your characters were very entertaining on screen. Tyrese, your character particularly, was very, very funny. You wouldn't well, think, does. you know, Tyrese would be funny. It, it was so refreshing. <laughs> A lot of people oh, yeah. don't know how funny I am. <laughs> <laughs> and there you have it. The star car belongs to bad guy Owen Shaw and was developed by movie car mechanic and fabricator Dennis Marchant from New Zealand. What I would like to know is what was the brief for him? This time around, I said, Dennis, forget trying to do a modified car. Let's build our own car. So, um, and I said, on top of that, I, I want this car to be able to flip other cars. <laughs> you know? And so he's the best in the business. And, and you know, I, I love working with people that want more challenges. Marchant's mechanical genius made for a car that actually drove under oncoming vehicles, flipped them, and kept the driver safe. No special effects required. But the stunts here are definitely not for testing on our roads. Jordana, what can we, you know, as viewers expect from Fast and Furious 6 that is different from all the other five? I, I saw it last night and I, I mean I read the script thinking how are they going to pull this off and they really do. Each action sequence is, is bigger than the previous one. I mean there are tanks, there are planes, there I mean it's just it's incredible <laughs> in its scope. It really is. It's fantastic. Thank you so much. No worries. I really, really love to speak to you. Nice. Love to speak to you. Ladies! Fast and Furious 6 opens in cinemas this weekend.